So on Ember in the Danger Zone game mode, there's this new bug where players can get boosted to incredibly high speeds just by jumping on top of loot crates. It's only possible on this map because it has a unique mechanic, geysers which boost players and all kinds of items. Although crates don't look like it, their internal velocity exponentially increases each time they move through a geyser. Here you can see the different velocities for each boost level, which just says how often a crate was moved through a geyser. You can see these speeds are absurd. For reference, the running speed in CSGO is 250 with a knife. CSGO has a speed limit of 3500 for the X, Y and Z axis, so you are unable to go faster than that. If you travel across the map diagonally, you can reach a velocity of 5000. Because of this speed limit, only crates with boost level 1 make players fly straight up as soon as they step on it. Crates with boost level 2 and higher are above the speed limit and do not push the player once they step on them. However, the game still seems to move the player up with the crate's internal speed for one tick or so, even though it doesn't give you any speed, since it's above the speed limit. So at higher boost levels, once you jump while standing on the crate, you basically get teleported up and fall straight back down, probably dying from fall damage. This is pretty useless unless we convert that short-lived vertical boost into horizontal speed. Just bump your head into a slanted ceiling and there you have your reusable jump pad. In most cases at these high speeds, you'll just die from fall damage. But with some practice and lineups, these boosts are somewhat reproducible. You definitely want to make sure your crate has the right amount of speed. If you drag a crate through a geyser with your drone, your crate can go up several boost levels at once and you don't know what level it's at. I have this technique where I only fly through the edge of the geyser which adds a single boost level quite consistently. If you want to try this lineup I found, drag a crate through a geyser 8 times, drop it precisely in the spot, step on the crate, look at this spot on this rock, press jump and pray that it worked. I have to admit it's not as consistent as I'd like. But it works sometimes at least. This mechanic seems to work with the money bags and drones themselves too. Didn't test them much though. I'll put some commands in the description for practicing this offline.